Alrighty now, let's do this. You read the title. This is basically how I got apps completely by accident. So, I initially had a script entailed for this video. However, that script got lost somewhere in this nasty ass disgusting room. Which I should be cleaning up in the time soon. Yeah, but that script is gone. It's gone. We're never gonna see the script ever again. It's probably the best script I've written in my life. But it's gone now, so I can't complain about it. No point, no point in crying over sp uh, spilled milk. So yeah. This is how I got apps completely by accident. Now, uh, last time I had apps prior to my 20s, as I am in uh, my 20s now, right? It was when I was 15, if I can recall. Yeah, 15. So I was skinny. I was a buck 50, roughly 5'10, 5'11. And I did a bit of training. But this training, more or less, just it was sort of yeah, it was sort of rudimentary stuff, you know, push-ups and all that, right? But I was I was a rail, you know, I, I was a rail at a buck fifty, and I had my four pack going along, and yeah, that, that it yeah, it was pretty easy. But then I ended up losing that because for reasons I'm going to mention in a later video. But yeah, um. I had this assumption that getting, you know, being this condition that I am now, I had, a, I had the assumption that it was very difficult to maintain a visible abs year round. Notably because I consumed a bunch of fitness content which was very black pilled. They set the standards really, really low. They make you assume that you have to be a, a fat slob within six months a year, and then um, six months after you can be, you know, cut. It's cutting season, bulking season, and I, I already made a video why I despise the bulking cutting gimmick, but that's not what this video is about. So, I always had a, this misconception that I couldn't be lean year round. It wasn't until 2019 when our dick of a governor decided to shut down gyms because, you know, my pandemic, we're all going to die and all that bullshit, right? And we're all still here. Shocker. Yeah. But, yeah, I... I had a backpack. Uh, it's it's yeah. You, you, you already know where this is going. Uh, you know this previous video. How I train, how I train when gyms were closed. I had a backpack. I loaded up my college textbooks. I walked two and a half miles to the park. And within the first couple of weeks, I noticed my body started to lean out a bit. Initially, it was water weight. Yes. However, I noticed that I started to look a bit leaner. Now I panicked initially because I thought, oh no, I'm losing muscle. This is bad. But then over time, I realized that, you know, my face was getting more leaner, my, you know, my shoulders were getting more leaner, my bicep vein became much more prominent. It was all going really well, the, the first couple of weeks. Then, then, then things got really, really uh, interesting. So, I really, I really needed a job. I was, you know, this college kid, I needed money, right? And I decided to apply to everyone's favorite starter job. No, not McDonald's, Amazon. Amazon, that's where we all get our products from. Hell, this this camera I'm recording from, I got from Amazon, yeah. And I decided to walk in, closed eyes, didn't know what I was doing, right? And so I did this thing called pick and stage. Yeah, all my associates know what pick and stage is. So when pick and stage is, you're essentially, you have a cart, and they give you a little device. This, this little Obama, hell, if, 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 I, if I could describe the device... It's like a calculator mixed with an Obama phone. <laughs> same exact software. It's the same exact software. And so you're scanning multiple packages. You, you scan the package and you scan the cart. And this cart can fit roughly eight packages, I'm not going to call. No, no. What's with three times three? No. Damn it. I can't do math anymore. I think it, I think it was eight packages. It was so long ago. Yeah, I think it was eight packages. It can, it can show... Yeah, it can... Stock eight, eight or nine packages. Yeah, eight or nine packages, right? So it, it can stock eight or nine packages, right? By the way, three times three is nine. But yeah, I, I was just trying to visualize it. I, I'm not that illiterate. I, I'm pretty good at arithmetic. Yeah, but yeah, it's you can you would put eight bags in this over a heart, and you have to walk it out to the station location. Now, sounds easy, right? Yeah, it sounds easy until you realize you have to get this all done within eight minutes. No, no, within thirty minutes. Whew. You have to get this up within 30 minutes. And these, that's only one cart, by the way. These routes can have a multitude of up to seven carts even if you, if they're really crazy. Now, there's also something called oversize, which 
Oversize is labeled as these are basically items that can't fit inside of the bag. And so you're coming back for your oversize. You're getting a, a third or your fourth cart to place it into the overall uh, cart spread. You're, 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 you're scanning into that same staging location after you're done. And if I can recall, it was a living shit show. It, it, was, it, was, it was a nightmare. Initially, my first day in the job, I was like, what the fuck is this? This is terrible. Hell, hell. I even applied to multiple jobs after going into that shit and said, yo, I can't stay in this goddamn facility for so long. This shit hurts. This shit is painful. I, I, I can't lose this rest of my life, whatever, yeah, but eventually I became very accustomed to it, and I turned it into a game. Instead, I turned it into a game, so I was, I was getting so well equipped with this thing, right? I got so good I was able to scan a multitude of, like, hell, I had 72 items in total. I got that scan of roughly, like, what, 10 minutes or so? Yeah, I was, yeah, your boy was that fucking crazy, so I turned this into a, I, I became a competition with myself. And because it was cutting into my cardio time, right? Because you know gyms were closing all that, right? Like I, I like walking to the park. I turned I turned it into a form of cardio completely by accident. And I noticed my body started to change. So the la the last bit of fat that I had on my body, you know, it was completely it was it was the last bit of fat really covering the abs came off. Like it came off whatever. And I remember lifting my shirt up to wipe my forehead, just off my forehead, right? And I was like, Whoa, what the hell? You know, like like am I even the same guy? And I was posing in the mirror at Amazon. Right? Yeah, 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 your boy's flexing between routes. Literally flexing between routes. Hell, we even have these things, these things called flex routes, right? Like, these routes are just, like, very short, right? And those were easy as cake for me. But yeah, but I, I got so great at these things, at, at uh, the pick and stage thing, right? That, yeah, they, they, they give me these things. They think, hey, Alexa, what's up? Alexa, stop speaking. Yeah, that's what I want. I want this Alexa Echo Dot. Don't speak. I want this Alexa Echo Dot, right? Which is pretty much probably spying on me. Now, look at whatever it is. It's, it's probably spying on me, collecting me information, but I don't care anymore. The government can look at, you know, my, my hentai collection for all I care. I don't care anymore. Yeah. But I ended up winning that. I won a bunch of bullshit awards that don't really mean anything, looking back, because that, that, that job was a complete hellhole. I, but I don't regret doing that job, whatever. Now, I ended up losing a ton of fat. I ended up getting really lean, and that was a form of cardio. Added on top of the two and a half mile walk that I was doing to the park. And cumulatively that, I ended up looking leaner. Now, my, my diet, my diet stayed relatively similar, but, but it, I added more things on top of it. So. For the first time ever, I added breakfast onto my diet. I never had breakfast ever, <laughs> but when, when you're doing Amazon picking stage, you need breakfast because you, you, you're, you're gonna die. It's basically cardio. Yeah. So, and my breakfast would have, was of course ramen noodles because everyone knows it's the best breakfast ever. Have have ramen noodles. Yeah, but it worked. I had enough energy to to finish these routes. I had enough energy to to go out and carry my job. My, you know my Amazon job as a pick and stage associate. And actually it's actually the first time I had a pre a pre workout meal. So afterwards I would go to the park and I would have what what did I have? No. It was either soup or is it it was it was it was either soup or some sort of like you know bullshit ravioli mix that we that I make whatever because I needed energy. And I thought to myself there's no there's no way I can go there's no way I can go walk to the park or whatever after completing this pick and stage. Mentally, I'm, I'm exhausted. Physically, I'm exhausted. I need some sort of food to fuel the machine. And I'd walk to the park. Now, of course, my folks thought I was crazy. Oh, man, you just finished doing pick and stage. You're going to the park to exercise? Absolutely. You're not building any muscle on Amazon. If anything, you're, if anything, all you're doing is vindicating the amount of muscle that you have because you're able to move right now. Now this might sound a bit arrogant of me, but it was a bit it, it was a bit empowering to see my numbers compared to every other associate's numbers. Now this would be to my own detriment because I eventually got so great at this that the Q the Q and A's whatever the Amazon stopped giving me help. So if you were if you were approaching the thirty minute mark, they'd send help up, help out for you. Now your boy was was obviously a complete monster, and I wasn't receiving help ever. I, I, I stopped. I stopped getting help. Basically, I, 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 I stopped getting help. 
and the routes got longer and longer. And we have this thing called pick season where you idiots, myself included, are ordering a bunch of shit on Amazon because Black Friday sales are coming in, you know, and hell, let me get that Flash Me TV over there. Thank you. Let me get my little cousin this Christmas gift or whatever. Thank you. You know what? Let me buy this turkey basically because I gotta cook a fucking dry ass turkey or some gay ass shit like that, right? But yeah, so picking so pick season was basically where all hell breaks loose. It is our version of the apocalypse. Everything is going down, which is why I sympathize with those in retail who have really really long ass lines during Black Friday. Yeah, for for Amazon we had a long we had we had stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks of boxes, stacks and stacks of of items, oversized, all that crap, and I had routes that I like. I, I don't, I, I'm running out of the longest route that I had. You know, the most strange route that I had was like what was like a 127 piece route. It was just so many items, right? And your boy cleared that shit in less than 30 minutes. Yeah, that's how insane I was. I I, I got so great at this, whatever that that you know, like this one supervisor called me Mr. Jim because like, I treated this shit seriously. I, I like I, I treated it in a manner in which that yo, like I'm I'm. I'm gonna physically crush this shit. There's nothing you can do about it. Hell, like I'd stack, and I, I, I get into the politics of the overall of, of the warehouse, whatever. I, hell, I might even make a video on why you probably don't want to work at Amazon, but that that, that goes without saying. Th th this video serves a purpose, and but I, I don't regret work. Not, I don't I don't regret working there because it taught me a lot of things. Taught me a lot of valuable lessons, as as in controlling my temper, as in you know. Being competent with my own abilities and reinstilling, reinstilling my love for fitness. If I hadn't had done the fitness that I did previously, I wouldn't have been at the level that I was to carry out these routes and to and to successfully, you know, to, yeah, to successfully pretty much vindicate myself in a manner of my, my own competence. Because, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, growing up as men were kind of like shit upon. Because you're you're you start off very incompetent, but then you have to kind of build yourself up. You have to build yourself up and become the best version of yourself, essentially. And yeah, that's basically how I got abs by accident. How I got my abs to show more prominently by accident. It was a combination of cardio, resistance training, and meal planning, in which I needed fuel to to fuel the muscle so I wouldn't go catabolic completely. And I also needed to completely train. I need to stimulate the muscle. If you don't use it, you lose it, of course. So I would go to the park before my weighty cast next movement, my isolations with the resistance bands, and I, I retained the muscle, and I ended up kind of changing the composition of my body overall, and I presented a much more leaner and aesthetic physique, which I thought was just impossible to maintain year-round, which is, of course, like, I'm I'm, I'm spitting an example. It's complete bullshit. I'm going tell you you can't be you can be lean or you can be big you can't be big and lean that's complete bullshit you you can do both as a natural bodybuilder you can do both you can be big and lean don't place yourself don't place yourself limiting uh what the fuck am i trying to say whatever these these these, these uh these self-limiting factors upon yourself whatever these limits don't put it upon your head because the second you say i can't do this you won't be able to because you're going to restore in your mind that you're limited by some sort of arbitrary force that doesn't exist this invisible boogeyman. man and yeah, that's basically how I got abs. This, this, this video is long enough, I think. And my room needs to be cleaned because I, I lost the script for this video. It's probably not even interesting. It's, it's pro my thoughts would have been much more articulated better if I had the script. I, I, I could articulate my ideas much more better, but I think this is, this is more fluid. Yeah, I, I feel less restricted. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, Yeah, I have no idea what else I want to say. That's it. Peace.